Right, last video of this day. I come, I've just popped back to the church. There's a leaflet I've seen now. Um, I just went in, into the candle place to let the girl know that the mobile phone I found had been, I put it in the letterbox, I didn't know what to do with it, whether to take it to the pub, whether to, you know, I've just come down to call off, so they gave me a little gift as a reward for finding the phone and making it safe. She, it's a brand new phone and she hadn't had it long. And it's a good one because she has to do all her work on it. She can say, let me choose a candle and a, chand a little elephant one I chose. So, this is an important part of the family tree and um, it was worth coming to um, even though I haven't done a lot of tree really <coughs> exactly I've done tried to verify as much as I can but it was worth coming here anyway to look around <coughs> the Yorkshire Dales, because I know my sister Jude came here and with her husband Stuart, he would like trains. <coughs> I'm just going to have a quick wander around the graveyard again and then I'm, I'll be off back to the Liburn for fish and chips or sausage and chips, then go back to the campsite. <coughs> Might be it really. Really old woodwork apparently but at the back there. Right, over and out everyone. I'm just gonna go out and go around the graveyard again. I've cooled down quite a lot now. Little wander, it's a bit cooler now. Um a last little wander around this churchyard and <clears throat> they only sort of tidy it up I think once um, all the flowers and the butterflies have died back I think they do it then um, so I'm just having a look, another little walk round I've got longer trousers on this time as well. Have you? Yeah. I don't think I did them all. I tell you, my legs are aching a bit. I think I'll get cramped tonight. I was going to get some flowers, but I think they got a lot of nice wildflowers here um, yeah so we just go over and say hello and off, I'm off again I was just thinking if I buy some fish and chips or some sausage and chips they'll be alright for when I get back to back. It only takes about 10 minutes to get back there, does it? Yeah. Yeah, you can never read these tomb ones. Right, we've got to find them again. It's up there. 
I won't forget where it is. It's over here. It's quite a big stone. It's this one here. So this is my second visit. You might know, you know, might not be able to come back again. This is it. In memory of John Buxton of Wensley, who died December the 15th, 1776, aged 59. Also of Jane, his widow, who died December the 20th, 1809, aged 91. The stone was erected by their grandson, John Buxton, son of their late son, Henry Buxton. So this is this lovely wild graveyard. There might be more Buxtons in there, but according to the records of the people that have done the work on the grave here. There, there's only this one. Enabled, enabled button. So I'm just going to turn off folks for a minute. Yeah there's a big possibility that this one's connected to Jane. Uh, obviously she died a long time before he did but it's a possibility he's in the tree. I just noticed a very old stone with a sword on it, which I never spotted yesterday. This one here, look. That looks like an old Templar thing, doesn't it? Knights Templar. I never got round to getting there either, but uh, let me just take a picture.